and I, I played a game on the app. I, like, ha how many texts, how many messages back and forth would it take in order for me to get her phone number and ask her out? And I think I got it down to like four lines of text. Hi, hello, hey, you're cute, you wanna go out? Sure, what's your number? No way! Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I don't want to text with somebody, I want to go meet them. And mm -hmm. so I think my advice to people using dating apps is they are just a tool. Like, it's not something to go spend a lot of time on. Um, for me, I made it a game of how quickly I could get off it, going out and not spending a lot of time texting. <laughs>
five different women. No, okay. Don't recommend it. It's not a good idea because I forgot whose brother was who and which one went to grad school and which one worked at, you know, the other company. You kind of forget things. What was a good pace for you? I think it's just, it's good to meet a lot of people. It all depends on the speed of it, right? So I was talking to my brother and he's like, you just need to focus. So he said, focus down and just pick one to focus on for the, the meantime and see what happens. Okay. I said, one, what, am I, what do you mean pick one? Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I'll pick two. And he goes, okay, fine. So I picked two uh -huh. and I texted two women and I didn't do anything else with the apps. Uh -huh. And one of them never replied to me and the other is Sharon. <laughs> Boom. So there it worked. <laughs> My brother had good advice. Uh, well, probably just a lot of texting. Um, okay. Just sometimes just lose of the really human interactions. Mm -hmm. And so I prefer meeting up or actually I talking on the phone call. And that's what I like from Andrew because he was one of the guys that, well, few of the guys that really minimal texting, but more about like. Meeting up quickly. Uh -huh. Yeah, my I played a game on the app. I, I ha how many texts, how many messages back and forth would it take in order for me to get her phone number and ask her out? And I think I got it down to like four lines of text. Hi, hello, hey, you're cute. You want to go out? Sure. What's your number? No way. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want to text with somebody. I want to go meet them. And then after I asked them out and confirmed a date, then I maybe talk a little bit more with them. But my goal is to go on a date. How many girls that you got a number and get to meet? Over 30. That's I didn't really want to, to chat with anyone on the on the in the app interface. I'm like, you don't you don't get to know them. What was your struggle when you were using dating app? Quantity over quality for me. Like I dated lots of women, but that I wouldn't actually focus on them. And then I got really good at first and second dates, and then bad at third and fourth dates because I wasn't like vulnerable enough. People got to know the surface level, and then when they started digging deeper, I wouldn't show myself or like be vulnerable with women. And it, like that was not really a struggle with dating apps as much as just a struggle with myself. Mm -hmm. So kind of working through that and reflecting. And like, so with her, I was really vulnerable on the first date on purpose because I just was like, Let, let's see what happens. Like, mm -hmm. why not? There's nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. And like, it's kind of an experiment for myself. Mm -hmm. And I guess it worked out. Being vulnerable often is uncomfortable, right? You have to like mm -hmm. put yourself out there. You're saying stuff you wouldn't tell normal people. Right. It's like exposing, right? It's right. uncomfortable. I have butterflies in my stomach, but I said, well, just go do it anyways and deal with the butterflies and mm -hmm. see what happens, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, and then like, you know, you try new things, you're always nervous. Yeah. What's there is to lose? She lives on the East Coast. Worst thing is that she, we never see each other again. And I think for me is because I was out of a seven year relationship so it's more about questioning whether i would ever find someone that i would fall in love again mm -hmm. so that was sometimes a self-doubt that mm -hmm. oh this guy seems nice maybe there's someone someone else better out there learning about what i really want mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. there are so many options like interest out there so yeah i think for me i didn't want to use dating apps i wanted to go on dates i wanted to find a romantic partner. So I, dating apps were a tool for me. I didn't want to use them. And mm -hmm. so I think my advice to people using dating apps is they are just a tool. Like it's not something to go spend a lot of time on. Um, for me, I made it a game of how quickly I could get off it going out and not spending a lot of time texting people. So I think that's really helpful because well, it's a means to an end, right? Like, you know, no one wants a lot of money. They want to have a good life. And money helps get a good life. Mm -hmm. um, dating apps are like that. You know, it's, it's something that no one wants to do it but it helps me, it helps you get what you really want. Mm -hmm. To totally figure out like w how your usage on the apps generates um, likes. So on Coffee Meets Bagel, I would use it daily, like right when they gave us all the new people, like there's that lunch time. And by doing that straight for like a week, then it would start giving me like 10 people instead of five. And then, and so then I started doing it and then I got up to like 20 to 25 people a day for like a week straight. So you gotta figure out, you gotta like, they'll they'll reward you for usage in a little bit, and that really helps. Um, because then it's the quantity conversation, right? And well, you know, I did say earlier in this conversation, quantity versus quality. Um, you wanna meet people and like, you know, but I also would swipe no on a number of them. Just because uh -huh. it's like not something I'm, not someone I was interested in, and right? I think people will jump into it or like, oh, I'm just lonely. Right? And like maybe they want more friends and then they go online dating looking for friends or maybe they just want a hookup buddy. Or see silly pictures of guys that are all buff. And maybe they're looking for funny photos. Mm -hmm. Having that ability to just be honest with people. It's like, mm -hmm. hey, here's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? That's like 
a first date question you should ask, right? Like, if you're actually looking for a long-term relationship, then you should probably make that pretty clear in your first date. You're actually trying to get, because are you really just trying to get like some satisfaction? Oh, look, I got a date, great, you feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. um, like, it's a confidence boost. Um, but if you're actually looking for a partner or not, like, that just requires you being yourself, and if someone doesn't like you, well, that's good because they don't like you and you don't want to date them then. <laughs> Run into that, oh, everyone's dating, I'm not, and then you're like looking at all of these people and it makes you anxious. It's like, whatever, go be happy single if you want to be, right? Like, there's no, there's no need to be in a relationship. Don't force online dating upon yourself if you're not ready for it. Mm -hmm. well, I see um, just creating possibilities together. Just not looking forward and create something that you are both excited about in the future and then um, have a strong partnership to march forward together. We have our fights, right? Like everyone, like no one's, no one's perfect, no one doesn't have fights, but what we do do is acknowledge the fights and that like different perspectives and try to listen to each other and like, all right, that was dumb of me to da, 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 like, all right, see the other person's respect and acknowledge it. So we've never gone to bed mad at each other so far mm -hmm. um, in about three and a half years now um, because we talk it out all the time. If you don't want to talk right now, great. Say, so don't want to talk. And then she's like, I don't want to talk right now. I'm like, all right, when do you want to talk? And then she, sometimes she'll be really quiet because she's grumpy with me. I'm like, I need you to tell me a time because I will allow you to have all the time you want, but I need to know when to come back. Otherwise, I'm going to come back in like three minutes and you don't want me to come back in three minutes because I want to talk right now. She's like, all right, 25 minutes. I'm like, okay, I'll come back in 25 minutes. And then I go do my own thing. I like read and I process and I reflect and like I look at sports news and ESPN and then I come back in 25 minutes and we talk it out. And then another thing I will add to is just respect each other and how we are different people in different backgrounds and we are different cultures so it's just like embracing each other's culture and extended family and understanding that's very important to me. Thank Bye. you! Thank you guys for watching. I hope you find at least one thing that's helpful for you in today's video. If you want to check out more dating tip videos, don't forget to check out my dating playlist. And again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon in my next one. Bye!